Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We're doing a little bit more Marvel Heroes Omega because with the addition of the new content that's been dropped into the game with the new patch 1.08, you probably can, can't really see it there. Uh, it's actually way over in the far side there where it says it. <laughs> the uh, content with the VIP added, uh, the Spider-Man Homecoming content for the event and stuff, they added a new currency into the game, and I noticed a lot of them showing up whenever I was unboxing my... Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming boxes in the last video, and I built up a small stack of them, and I didn't know what the Stark tech was actually meant to be used for, but apparently it's actually meant to be used in the research department. I didn't know, I thought it was actually going to be a individual items you had to buy, almost like the artifacts, but you're meant to actually use them with your research department. Where is it? That's logistics. There's research. And you actually buy a research pack, essentially. And I'm assuming this is actually going to cost, um, instead of costing money, it costs a Stark Tech uh, currency, which you end up making burning cosmic essence. So it's a weird uh, way of charging it. So what is it, like th uh, three or five cosmic essence? And I need to actually check what it is. We'll go to logistics, is it? Uh, or is it science? Yeah, I'm trying to find out which one it is. I'm going to be logistics. It'll be engineering. Of course I have so it makes Stark Tech, it costs... Five essence or five cosmic fragments and a hundred thousand to make the Stark tech. So you, the way I got them through being in the box was just the fact that they have them in the box now is a uh, something that you can receive. I'm going to spend whatever I have left in Stark tech. Well, I don't know if I'll do that. I'll do if I can do five. I'll do five. Let's see. What we got one, two, three. Four, five. Right, so upon opening, you will receive a random research report and other possibilities. Interesting. Right, so we're going to do an unbox of these in this space here now. So let's go in and take a look. Whenever I'm unboxing stuff that I don't know, so I'm kind of worried to actually be doing it with a character that isn't maxed out. So I might actually switch across to one of my level 60 characters uh, to do this. Uh, we'll go with Kitty Pride. Pride of the Pride of the X Men. Since we're going from Nightcrawler to Kitty Pride, it makes sense for me. You know, there's a link there. <laughs> All right, we'll just jump in and go into supplies and open these boxes. So we've got five of these to pop open. Let's see what we got inside them. I'm assuming it's I like because I remember looking inside the um, patch notes and it was a series of things that were actually just uh, it was a series of things that are actually available to the characters for artifacts instead. I just realized I swapped the two my camera angles around incorrectly. I was actually in the right one. And then switch to the wrong one, and then switch back again. Excuse that. <laughs> There's technical issues all the time. Where on whenever actually you're managing the camera system as well as talking and doing the sound. So we've got level three logistics division div uh, research report. That's excellent. Fifty thousand uh, exp for the logistics division. Always useful. This is the daily bugle. Uh, usable inventory item. Da, 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 one hour cooldown. Activated game one. Plus one fighting buff and plus one durability for an hour. Okay, so buffable items. And uh, Stark Tech Evasive Capabilities adds the Stark Tech Evasive Capabilities Enhancement to any upper body or lower body item of super heroic or higher rarity. Okay, so 25 to 100 dodge added on to any item. Okay. Replacing any existing enhancements already on the item though. So, I don't really like that. <laughs> they, essentially it's the same as just um, your engineering division putting parts onto it using mats. So that's essentially what these are. They're just to replace material kind of expenditures. I suppose, I mean, essentially, if you're actually really on a high-end gear, you would actually want to kind of get that exactly every single time without having to go farming. So, eh, whatever. So, uh, the most interesting thing about it is just the logistics EXP boost, because it saves me just uh, donating so much stuff. So, again, oh, another engineering one. So, this is the same as actually doing our uh, research things. We're buying the materials and then spending the credits, which isn't a problem, because credits are so plentiful in the game. And another one of those buffs, again, for fighting and, fighting and strength this time. One and one for an hour. Um, does it actually say Spider-Man Electro destroying city's power supply? Whoa! Star Tech impact um, generator. It is fifty to seventy-five damage rating to energy powers. Okay. So I'm not too excited. There's not exciting really in the Star Tech boxes after me spending the money on these. So level three science support, web shooter schematics. So utility slot armor item, replacing any existing enhancements. And what does it do? Damage rating to web powers. Critical hit rating. Fighting. Chance when you use a power to web your enemies, slowing their move attack speed by 25%. Okay. So essentially it gives web power, slowing power uh, to any utility slot. Right, that's weird. 
So does this apply? Does this apply web shooter skills to any weapon? So essentially, using any power to you'll slow your attack speed of enemies by twenty percent. That's kind. Of, that is actually really useful. But uh, I'm curious to know whether or not it actually it definitely doesn't mean web powers only. It means anything. So that's actually pretty cool. More logistics. Another daily bugle paper. Stark Tech evasive. Again, an R25 to 100 dodge. Oh, we got that. We got one of those already. And then on to our last one. <laughs> oh, are you serious? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we actually had a minor technical issue here. The um, auto update on one of the other consoles has caused the switcher to pull across to another console. Hang on, let me see if I can fix this and actually turn it off. Hang on. Right. <laughs> Behind the fourth wall there, folks, a little bit. That's, that was completely... Uh, there's a scheduling on the actual recorder or on the um, console that actually switches across at certain times. That was actually pearly, pearly timed. <laughs> all right, well, at least are we back? We're back on the main screen on one of our devices, but we haven't gone back on all of our devices, so I'm getting a bit of a problem here. Right, hang on. <laughs> this is terrible. So hopefully <laughs> we'll be all right now. Things will be reset and going perfectly fine. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I can actually just check on my full screen here to actually see what's going on. There we go. <laughs> right, so we have level three logistics, another daily bugle, this time with fighting and intelligence, and a start take evasive capabilities, <laughs> 25 to 100 dodge. So nothing really massively interesting except for the fact that you saw how my setup is awkwardly kind of like works on an odd occasion. <laughs> um, thank you very much for watching, guys. This is actually just being a look at the Stark Tech. It really doesn't look like of any real value other than adding another currency that is going to get you to mill out your currency, uh, mill out your money whenever you're actually making stuff. It guarantees a uh, upgraded function for any of your weapons, but none of it really seems to be that massively interesting. None that the that I really want on any of my skills. So. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's just another thing that they want to add and try and test with, but the fact that they're showing up inside the marvelous loot boxes, not really cool, man. Not really cool at all because it's causing costing cosmic as essence, and it's actually using the star tech instead of your money, and you could just be using the credits anyway. This is not a a great move, uh, although I'm not too sure if star tech was something that was already available in the PC version, but the console version doesn't need another currency this quickly. It really did not need another one added in. You can see that the objects are not that massively interesting, but they obviously are of use to higher-end players in some way, shape, or form, I imagine. Just not so much to me. And of course, the problem with the Daily Bugle items is that they don't stack because they have different uh, capabilities, and you have to go and check to see which of the details are each one of them. So they're going to take up more slots in your storage, which uh, even with the extra 10 that you got from storage uh, for being on VIP, that's still annoying to actually have a lot of spaces taken up with uh, replicative items that you're not going to use that often. I mean, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to use a one-hour buff all that often unless I was actually going to be playing some much, much, much harder content like the top-run Cosmic stuff. So, yeah, guys, um, not not seeing the value in it here. Really, really not. So, uh, yeah, thank you, very much, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if, you, if you have your own thoughts on what Stark Tech's value actually is in the game, if I'm not getting this in any way, shape, or form, feel free to comment underneath or to wherever you find the actual video. And if you actually feel like this was interesting and you want to know more and you want to keep watching stuff on the channel, not just Marvel Heroes or Omega, but plenty of other games aside, make sure to hit the subscribe button above. And if you're not a subscriber kind of person, I can completely understand. Just remember the name, Pastiche of Skin. I'm not trying to hide, guys. I'm easy to find. I'm, just Google me. I'm there. Just right there. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Oh, and one more thing. If we're watching on YouTube, yep, so the boxes will pop up. There'll be the subscribe up there. And over here on this side will be a playlist of recent videos on the channel. Over the far side will be the most recent upload. And right here is a video for you based on your user analytics and YouTube thingies and whatever you call it and the tagging and the thinging and the doing and the searching. It'll be something that you should watch because it's something specifically for you. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.